Welcome to this Neural Network Programming Series. In this episode, we will see how we can speed up the neural network training process by utilizing the multiple process capabilities of the PyTorch Data Litter class. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin by discussing how we can speed up the training process. To speed up the training process, we will make use of the numworkers optional attribute of the data litter class. The numworkers attribute tells the data litter instance how many subprocesses to use for data loading. By default, the numworkers value is set to zero, and a value of zero tells the loader to load the data inside the main process. This means that the training process will work sequentially inside the main process. After a batch is used during the training process and another one is needed, we read the batch data from disk. Now, if we have a worker process, we can make use of the fact that our machine has multiple cores. This means that our next batch can already be loaded and ready to go by the time the main process is ready for another batch. This is where the speed up comes from. The batches are loaded using additional worker processes and are queued up in memory. The natural next question that arises is how many worker processes should we add? There are a lot of factors that can affect the optimal number here, so the best way to find out is to test. So let's look at testing values for the num workers attribute. To set up our test, we'll create a list of num workers values to try. We'll try the following values. 0, which is the default, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. For each of these values, we will vary the batch size by trying the following values. We'll go with 100, 1000, and 10,000 for our batch sizes. For the learning rate, we'll keep it at a constant value of 0.01 for all of the runs. The last thing to mention here about this setup is the fact that we're only going to do a single epoch for each of these runs. All right, let's see what we get. We completed a total of 18 runs. We have three groups of differing batch sizes, and inside each of these groups, we have varied the number of worker processes. The main takeaway from these results is that across all three batch sizes, having a single worker process in addition to the main process resulted in a speed up of about 20%. Additionally, adding additional worker processes after the first one didn't really show any further improvements. So with this, let's think now about how we can interpret these results. The 20% speed up that we see after adding a single worker process makes sense because the main process has less work to do. While the main process is busy performing the forward and backward passes, the worker process is loading the next batch. By the time the main process is ready for another batch, the worker process already has it queued up in memory. As a result, the main process doesn't have to read the data from disk. Instead, the data is already in memory, ready to go. And this gives us the 20% speed up that we're seeing. Now, you may be wondering, why are we not seeing additional speedups after adding more workers? Shouldn't it make it go faster if we add more workers? Let's discuss this a bit. We think about one worker possibly being enough to keep the queue full of data for the main process, then adding more batches of data to the queue isn't going to do anything in terms of a speedup. This is what I think we're seeing here. Just because we are adding more batches to the queue doesn't mean that the batches are being processed any faster. Thus, we are bounded by the time it takes to forward and backward propagate given a batch. And we can even start to see things start bogging down as we get to 16 workers. All we're doing here is running a bunch of processes at the same time and putting a bunch of batches in the queue, but that doesn't speed up the processing of each batch. The way that we gain improvements in speed by using the numworker attribute with data loaders is by cutting down on the time it takes to read the actual data or the batches 
from disk. If we can already have the data ready to go when the main process is ready to begin with that particular batch, then we don't have to spend the time waiting to read the data from disk. And that basically sums up how the numworkers attribute is working with PyTorch data loaders. Hope this helps you speed up. If you haven't already, be sure to check out deeplizzard.com where there's blog posts for each episode. There's even quizzes that you can use to test your understanding of the content. If you didn't know, Deep Lizard also has a vlog. The link is in the description so you can come over and say hello. And don't forget about the Deep Lizard hive mind where you can get exclusive perks and rewards. Thanks for contributing to Collective Intelligence. I'll see you in the next one. What is up? Why is this? How is this? What is this? Metaphysics is the branch of philosophy that deals with the first principles of things, including abstract concepts such as being, knowing, identity, time, and space. Are you prepared? I'm ready to take a bite out of that.